Hello ladies and gentlemen, Captain Check here, and welcome to some more Space Engineers coverage. Now, this video is a little different. Uh, it's actually a continuation of a series that me and Hangus are trying to kick off that is... Uh, we did a video a little while back called Fighter Ship Showdown, where we built two separate ships. We went off our own designs, and then we pitted them against each other to find out who was the better engineer, who could come up with a better design. And I got rocked. I'll, I won't deny it. I won't deny it at all. I totally got rocked. We didn't set any rules down, and I went for a very light, very maneuverable build. And I... Oh, he threw on a bunch of guns. He went full-on warship, and the fields of fire he could put down. I recommend you guys go over there and check out that video. It's pretty, it's pretty hilarious uh, just to watch. And then I tried to, like, edit my ship later on to get it to work against him, and I ended up just being so... My ship was so not balanced properly that it almost flipped itself over. It was so bad. So this one, Hangus has already built his ship. His video is already live on TGN. There you go. There is the the Dove, I think he called it or something like that. Uh, it's not bad. I like it. It's got a strange like box design in the front. So, all right. Enough about his strange, strange monstrosity. Let's get going on ours now. To build a ship, let's bust out the UI. Tab is the button to get rid of the UI. I've had a couple people actually ask me that. Tab to get rid of your UI, and V to go into third person mode if you want to. So, all right. Hit G to get into the menu here, and let's get going with a new small ship. Just don't bump it, or that block will float away. I learned that the hard way. Now, I saw how Hengus starts his, where he actually, oh, listen to that. There's new sound effects now. I love it. <laughs> I'm so happy they're gonna continue with the, oops, continue with the sound effects. All right, so with some uh, some light armor blocks here on the bottom. Now, he starts with reactors. I, I don't, I never got, I never in, liked doing that, starting with reactors and then building on. I like to start with the cockpit and then kind of mold the ship around the cockpit. So where is it? Here's cockpit. We're not gonna need the beacons just yet. All right, so there's our cockpit. Now, sadly, they haven't added any new cockpits in yet. This is just how we're gonna have to start the build. Uh, now is when I add my uh, my reactors. So let's grab some um, large and small reactors. I wanna see the size of the large reactors because it might be beneficial to just go with one reactor and then wrap it in armor. Nah, it's just, that's too big. I wanna go small, like he kinda went thick with his. I wanna go small. Cause the idea is, let me get my reactors down real quick. We'll do, there we go. We'll do that. Let's get rid of that. Cool, so my idea is to keep it really, really small, to keep the silhouette small. Cause it's not just about maneuverability and firepower, it's also about making the ship really hard to hit. And that's my goal. I want to keep it slick. I also want to keep it armored. Slick and armored. Not top speed. I'm not worried about acceleration too much in this build. I think I'm just going to go with lots and lots of armor. And yet still be very, very streamlined. So I'm going to change this a bit. Let's take out the bottom blocks. And let's throw some gyroscopes. Now, the gyroscopes should help with how fast the nose turns. But it doesn't actually affect... Uh, how fast the ship will change course. That's gonna be more up to how much forward momentum we have and how many uh, thrusters we've got going the direction we want. So it's always good if you need to make a quick turn, if you got all your, like a lot of thrust in the back to turn the entire ship the direction you wanna go almost uh, the full way and then let the back thrusters push you in that direction to get you changed. Uh, all right, so there we go. We've got, uh, what, four gyroscopes, and I want to get on there another couple reactors. Let's see. That's too much. Too much. Let's throw on a couple more small reactors. I'm not going to be using the large ones. Large ones are just way too big for a build like this. Um, let's see here. Let's do a reactor on the top. Oh, can't do it because we need metal. You need something to hook the reactors to. You can't just hook them to themselves, it looks like. Or maybe you can, but only the center. Not the top. Oh, not the gyroscopes. Reactors can be hooked to themselves, but not gyroscopes. All right, fair enough. Got the, uh, the nuclear reactors. Now, one thing about the saves, they're, they're a bit long. 
but because it's still an early build of the game, we decided to uh, to leave that on the map just in case we get crashes or anything like that. Though it's been really stable. Now, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be using heavy armor blocks. Now, I believe these are heavier than normal blocks. Now, I'm not sure if Hengus used any in his build, uh, but I'm not worried about acceleration in this build. I think I wanna go uh, very heavily armored. So let's go ahead and do one here. One here. And we can start building up and around. There we go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna encase my entire cockpit in these heavy armor blocks to protect from incoming fire. And one other thing I'm gonna do is I'm a big, big fan of center line firepower. Because when you put weapons on the wings, you get that kind of divided fire and how small some of these fighters are that you're going up against. You can actually shoot straight at him dead on and the bullets will go around because your your weapons are so spread out. So I'm gonna rock those there. I think that's a pretty good set. And then we'll do the rockets maybe on the top corners. Maybe. I'm gonna I'm still on the fence about that. We'll see. We'll see. All right, let's just armor the front end here. So how am I gonna be streamlined yet still have, I like the camo pattern on this, on the heavy armor. Streamlined yet armored. Well, all the key components will be covered in armor. There we go but I'm not gonna have wings. I'm actually gonna avoid putting wings down on this ship in the traditional sense. So let's do that there. Now I'm not using the this system here just because I wanna do it by hand. Kinda helps me get an idea of the build I wanna do, but that system that I just showed, these little lines allow you to put down blocks and it'll copy the blocks on the other side of the plane. It's actually a really, really cool system for building. It's something that I think uh, Minecraft could have really used early on, but all right. I try not to compare the two games because they are so vastly different. I mean, Minecraft is such a, uh, it's a great, it's a great game, but it's just so, so damn different. It's less about engineering and about actually trying to design something for functionality's sake, unless you're talking about redstone, than just being straight up creative. And I like this game a lot because I think you get the best of both worlds. I really do. Now, I, I'm really digging this. I really am digging this build. Like, look at that. Ha <laughs> Oh, that is cool. It's like a, t a space tank. Hello, space tank. Maybe that's what I'll name it. All right, so we've got our reactors back here. Now, one thing that me and Hengus also talked about was throwing on beacons. Now, I'm not gonna wait to the end. I wanna get the beacon on right away because it's going to affect how I set the ship up because it's such a large item. So there's my beacon. But it's, and look how bright that is. Like that is just blindingly bright. So I am all too happy to plate that under armor. <laughs> to just cover that sucker up. Now, the last thing I wanna do is get some thrusters on here. We are gonna have to put some type of wings on here just so I have more room for more thrusters. But, wow, look how bright that is. I just wanna cover this up now. So, I'm so happy that they've added sound effects. I really do like the sound effects in this. We're gonna throw some small thrusters up here. Like I said, I'm probably not even gonna use a large thruster in this build, just to see what I can get away with in the way of small parts. There we go. Let's get you in there. We're gonna have stacks, stacks and stacks of engines back here. Now this is actually a weak point. If he gets behind me, I think these engines will die pretty quickly compared to the armor plating, and he'll be able to wreck my day. So that's gonna have to be something I think about when I'm piloting the thing. Now for the bottom. 
We gotta think about downward thrust as well, or upward thrust, actually. They need to be attached here. Another save. Let's see, how do I wanna attach thrusters here? Do I wanna do side thrusters and have them pointing like this? Or do I wanna like embed them down here and then wrap them in armor plating? All right, so let's see here. We put the, th the downward thrust on the sides. It's very boxy, which is more, it's boxier than I wanted to be. Oops, got a little of a frame rate drop there. If I put anything farther down here, well, it's not really adding much to the bottom, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some downward thrust here. We'll do some, we'll do corners. We'll do corners. Pop you off, pop you off. Take that off, take that off, and stick this one right. Here, this is definitely one of the stranger builds that I've ever done, uh, but I'm liking it. I'm actually, I'm actually really digging this build. This is diff so different. Um, now, one thing that I want to test, I want to get some more thrusters on here just so I can see how the power drain is in my my RoboCop build. That's what it reminds me of. Dead or alive, you are coming with me. <laughs> Uh, all right, so I'm thinking gotta make it sexy sexified because she's Gonna push all the buttons so I get the right one. There we go. I always do that too Hmm, how do I want to set up these wings? If you even want to call them wings Because they're really not going to be and I have to think about the rockets too They still have to go on because I don't want to miss out on firepower. I learned my lesson lack of firepower is devastating so I'm thinking rocket pod here and a rocket pod here. And they should be far enough away. If you get rockets too close to each other, they'll actually detonate and ruin your face. They'll actually explode and no one would be happy with that. At least I know I won't. That'd be really sad. My rockets kill me and I lose that way. There we go. And let's put one here. Excellent, I'm digging it, I'm digging it. And we'll put some of these blocks on here on the side. The uh, the slopes, make sure she still looks good. Now you're probably thinking, well, check, you're just keeping it even on both sides. I am, but I, kind of, I like this. I like the sculpting it. Uh, manually. When I'm doing something this small, when I do large ships, though, definitely, definitely have to use the uh, the copy system. So, let's see. Hmm. All right. So I think we're ready for another row of wings. And actually, what I will do is I will turn on the copy system for this because I think I know what I'm gonna do with it. Make sure we get the right one selected. That looks good to me. And we should be golden. Now, I can't actually attach this here, which is something I didn't realize. So we're gonna block that off so bullets can't come through and hit my rocket from behind. And saving again. Go these saves, drive me crazy. I think the one feature that I'm looking most, uh, I'm looking forward to the most is capital ship weapons once those are online because then we can do straight on capital ship build offs we could do them now but they would have to be let's make sure that's working fine yep looks good uh but they would have to be more based on concept than actually testing with the fighters we can dogfight these I and mean, we can get real results right away and i like that i definitely like that better so let's go ahead and do that and let's plop one of these right here. And drop these. This one here, and one here. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. And we should have something similar on the other side. The exact copy, actually. What I'm not digging is these thrusters on the bottom. It gives it, like, little stubby legs, and I don't care for that at all. 
So let's remove those and remove these and throw thrusters where they were. Pretty much just moving the thrusters up a block so they seem a bit more in place, like a bit more a part of the ship. Now that I like, that I like a lot better. And I still need to color mine, but no worries there. Let's get some more. I'm gonna do another wing set, I think. But first, but first, but wait, there's more. I have an idea. Let's dig a hole and we can set some of our top thrusters in here. Nice. Now that I really like. I bet we can do the same thing right here. Uh, but we can't sink them in there. What about going back? No, it doesn't look like we can sink them in. Is that armor plating down there? It is armor plating. Sweet. There we go. Four thrusters on the top, which I bet will be just fine for this build. It may require testing. But I'm just going to accept the fact that I'm not going to be as maneuverable in this ship as my, my former build. And that's okay. Because she's going to be small. All right, so let's see if we can make her a bit more... <laughs> a bit less ugly, how about that? Just to be blunt, she's she's kind of butt ugly right now, and I am gonna have to... I'm gonna have to do something about that. Whoa! No, that's not what I wanted to do. All right. And then let's throw one of these on here and rotate that baby to kind of line up. So, but yeah, I mean, this is what makes this game so awesome. It really is the fact that, there we go, that you are designing a ship with the, the idea of how she's gonna fly. How is she gonna work for your design, for what you tend to do with it? I mean, there's functionality there. Something that I really always wanted in Minecraft was more functionality. I mean, like, people build things like sailboats. I did it too. I built a big, uh, like, 18th century pirate ship. Sadly, there was never anything I could do to actually make that ship work until, you know, mods came out. And even then, it was kind of iffy. Um, I was really hoping that the physics they had in that game early on were placeholder physics, and they were going to add more to it. So, and then this came out, and I was blown away by the idea that you know it's in the name, Space Engineers. You're engineering gear and equipment for whatever it is you want to accomplish. And when survival comes out, having the skills to make fighters for specific roles is gonna be, I think, really, really helpful, especially on a budget like what we're doing with only having a certain amount of guns, where you're actually gonna have to use resources to build these. All right, so I have thrusters in every direction. I think it's time to give her just a test flight and then we can design from there, so. One bad thing about the cockpit view is the limited field of view, especially when you armor plate your cockpit, like I've done. That's okay, that's why we got third person. Acceleration's a little slow. Power is really, really good, actually. We're using about 80% even when we turn, and that's when you use the most power is when you turn, because you're kicking off not only your back thrusters, but you're also kicking off your side. Now, max speed is like 104 meters a second in this, and I'm taking a little while to get to it. So this is definitely an armor build. Weapon test is good. Rocket test, please don't blow me up. Oh, fantastic, looks good. Now, let's kick off the inertial dampener, see how she slides. Oh, had a bit of a frame drop. Something that they've just recently, and I mean, as of this recording, it was like this morning this is released, a, a patch where they synchronized small items in the game world. So I'm guessing that's going to be small items like rocks and debris, I hope, because those have kind of been an issue. But uh, items that are actually in the game world that you can build are definitely synced up. So I'm using my upward thrust just to see how slow it is. Not that it's all that important, I can always just rotate the ship and use the rear thrusters to get what I need done. Initial dampener's on. How fast do I stop? At about half speed. Initial dampeners are on. Ah! I am missing thrusters. I have no forward thrusters. I can't stop. So I'm gonna have to use my my back ones to slow down. There we go. So that's definitely a design flaw. I didn't put forward thrusters on this sucker. I wonder how many of you guys actually noticed that like right away. It's like, oh, Shaq forgot something. 
I don't want to mess up the slick front end. I really love the Robocop front. It's like Robocop Terminator ship. I'm just, oh, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. It's so different than the slick ships that I'm used to making. So let's do thrusters here. And thrusters here. Oh yeah, that's cool. She's pretty much self-contained right now. I mean, this is a working, ready-to-go ship. And I like it. I like it a lot. Everything here is what you need for the weapons that we've chosen for how many we have. I mean, this is everything you need. Anything else on this would sadly just add to what could be hit. And when you take hits, the physics take over and it'll actually change how your ship is flying. So the little doe is way over here. I need to rename rename my ship. Now, can I do that from inside the cockpit? I've never tried. Let's see. Da -da. That's not what I wanted. Let's go inside. And beacon. Yes. Yes, you can rename it. All right. Well, you know what? I'll paint her first before I name her, and maybe I can come up with a better name. I can come up with a name. All right. Let's head on back to the little dove. Let's get the paint job going now. I'm pretty happy with this build, actually. I really like it. I think it's a unique build. It's very uh, turtle-esque. The heavy armor. Park next to Hangus' build here. And we are going to see in the next video who has the better engineering skills. I mean, this is unique right here. I like this. He's going to have a lot of forward thrust, too. Oh, man. All right. Well, anyways, back to my ship. Back to my ship. Time to paint this bad boy. Well, he went with what? Black? Yeah, black and silver. Well, I like to be stealthy, so let's do something. Hmm... Let's do something in, do we have a brown maybe? Or a yellow? Well, yellow's gonna kinda stand out a little too much. Oh, right, they changed how colors work in this. You can actually go into the color palette now. So if I wanted a brown, I just have to make a brown. So let's just try to make a deserty like brown color because that totally makes sense in space, right? Sure, why not? And we're saving. So yeah, in the one of the recent patches, they added this system where you can make colors pretty much. You can set your hue, your saturation, and get it just the way you want it. I'm thinking like a light kind of deserty, deserty camo color. That's what I'm looking at. If we're gonna go Abrams, let's go Abrams. That's what I'm gonna name her. She's an Abrams tank in space. M1A1 Abrams. She's not the fastest thing. She's quick, but she's not that quick. But she's in it for the long haul. This is a slugger right here. That's the design philosophy. It's gonna get in there and it's gonna slug it out. It's gonna outlast its enemy. While they're sitting in there trying to chip away at that armor, it can just sit in one place and put bullets down range. It's still gonna be fairly maneuverable. I mean, look at it, it's so small. It reminds me of the badass version of a Star Trek shuttle. It really does. <laughs> oh man, I like it, I like it a lot. Actually, you know what, let's take this one step further. If we're gonna go armored, let's go armored. Let's actually build some armored shields. This game doesn't have energy shields, but it does have armor plating. So let's make an armored shield. Now, one thing that I have to keep in mind is I can't cover up these. The thrusters. Oops. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to build these out here. I wonder how much this is going to affect acceleration. There we go. So now she, he's gonna have to shoot through these armored plates if he's hitting my side. Now the front is still a weakness. I'm thinking we don't actually need a cockpit view. So we're gonna do the same thing here. We're going to build up more shielding. 
More armor plating. The design philosophy is like a T-72 tank, like a big old angry Russian tank, right? U.S. Abrams. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love it, I love it. Just armor, armor death is what this thing is. Oh, this is gonna be fantastic. I'm just excited now. I'm excited to fly this thing. Uh, how slow are you with these armored plates? So it never even hit max speed last time. Let's try it. We just hit 13, 20, 30 meters a second. So it's gonna take me a good uh, 10, 15 seconds to get to max speed, but I don't need to get to max speed. I just have to get into range. I can still turn, I can get my guns around on target. So that's what I'm thinking. Not bad, not bad. Well, you guys, let me know in the comments below. What do you think of this build? Is this something you would have thought of? You think it's gonna work out? You think it's gonna be just horrific? <laughs> you could totally use cockpit view. <laughs> it's legit. Uh, let me know in the comments below. If Keep an eye out on this channel for more Space Engineers for our actual showdown. That's the next video that's gonna be coming out. And uh, I am curious what you guys think of this build. It's it's one of the most unique ones I think that I've ever made. It's good to put limitations on yourself because then you'll surprise yourself with what you come up with. Uh, I recommend you guys definitely try it out. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to this channel. And as always, thanks for watching. I will see you guys when I'm shooting the crap out of Hengus's, Hengus's, I <laughs> can't talk. Hengus, fighter. Later, guys. Oh, this is going to be awesome.